The MB Network with D Sparta. Hey, it's me, D, and welcome to the MB Network. Whew. Feels like Monday, but it's Tuesday. So I guess I should be glad, you know, because it means, you know, my week is getting closer to the end, right? Yeah, don't like how my hair is today. Anyway, folks, uh, you're going to do glow at it. I the last one there was there was some crap in it. Let's just let's just put it this way. It was crappy. But because I ordered three, I'm gonna go through this. We're gonna open this one up. We're gonna see if it's still we're gonna see if it's any better. <laughs> but first let me remind you what glow addict is. You know what this is. <laughs> We're going to cut this, I almost said this bitch open. Well, I did, did I? Well, we'll get, we'll just leave that in there because that's me. <laughs> it's small. This box just is really small this month. So I am, I am nervous. I haven't seen any, any previews, any spoilers, any sneak peeks because, well, I didn't want to and I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> my mind, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff, you know. I have a teenage boy and a nine-year-old girl, NB, and I, 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 my life, the teenage years is here. <laughs> anyway, oh, well, here we go. Now, iBeauty, if I remember correctly, is part of their um, line and these are vegan and cruelty free no glue chemicals reusable up to 40 times recyclable magnetic eyelashes very cute um i prefer magnetic over putting the glue on my eyes because i can't handle that do they include any glue i mean any magnetic liner let's see here Extra strength magnetic liner from iBeauty. Now, I did a video trying lots of magnetic lashes, and you can find that in, you know, I'll probably maybe put a link in the card or something. I'm trying to see, there's no card telling me what the prices are for any of this stuff. Let's see what else I've got in here. We have a Lip Perfection Bebella pen. Now, I have been getting just seeing this what is it be bella be beautiful oh but b isn't french i guess they're doing english french shamash a shamash of the french and the english i don't i don't know i i should look them up because i have tried like some of their eyeshadows and i liked it I, you know, it was like, well, this brand might, this brand is up and coming. And so I'm curious to try this lip pencil. It would have went well, you know, whoa, this would have looked good today. <laughs> okay, what else do I have in here? All Eyes on Me brush set. Did I get a brush set from them last time too? I will look that up. Well, here they are. Um... Who is good vibes? Eyes on me. Let me see. Okay. I had expected to touch this and be like, oh, this is feels feels luxe. Wow. I could totally use that. Yeah. It looks like it could pick up powder well. I want to try this. It just it's so soft and smooth, but not, but there's texture to the bristles. Oh, you can't really see, but there's texture to the bristles, which is good for picking up powder. And it, 
they're firm. There's a firmness, but a gentleness. Firm yet gentle brushes. Wow, did the camera lose me? Okay. I was like, I couldn't tell if my, because my vision is getting worse, but I was like, oh, that would have been a dramatic drop. <laughs> Okay, this brush is funky. This is me. This is a base shadow. It's uneven as all get out. And I don't know if that's on purpose. Well, how weird. Maybe. I don't think the brush is supposed to look like that. It feels soft, but that is really uneven and weirdly cut. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way. Did it, how weird, I'm going to look this brand up and see if that brush is supposed to work ya. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, and then this one here is Good Vibes, and Good Vibes is for Cream Eye, and uh, it feels nice. This one also feels really nice, and it seems to be cut properly. There's no fork in it. <laughs> Sorry, it's like a little pitch for it's like a little picture. I don't know if you can tell. Can you see that botchiness? I don't know. It's odd. That is odd. That's odd. Okay, so we got that. We got that. And then we have an eye palette from um, designed by Isabel Beja. It's the Illuminati. Oh, it's the Illuminati Issa. Now, I've gotten a lot of Illuminati. I guess that that's what it is. Palettes before. Um, I don't recall my reaction, so that's probably not stellar, but you never know. Um, Isabel Bede, Bedia, now this is, let's see here, is this vegan or cruelty free? I do not see anything that alludes to that here. Uh-huh. That's a colorful palette. It the colors are much stronger and brighter in person. And then they're showing up here. Um, hmm. Riri Sour 1996 Purple Haze, Purple Dream, Azul, Baby Girl, Addy, June 1st. That must mean something to Isa. Rose, Trust, Izzy, Rich. Colombian, Colum yeah, Colombian, uh, oh, Colombiana. I, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. And Soul, which is this dark one here, because, you know, your soul is dark. Looks like there's glitter, press glitter, two press glitters, four shimmers. Well, I don't know if the black one has some shimmery effect to it, but I don't think it's a shimmer. Oh, I could be wrong. We'll swatch and find out. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mats. So seems like a. I don't really care for pressed glitter because it's way how horrible it is in the eyes. But hey, so I got one, two, I guess three, four, This really just like one, two, three, four items. Is that all I got? Aren't you supposed to get five or something? I'm supposed to get five to seven products. I got four here. Is this the beauty bag, maybe? I thought I was getting the beauty box. I've, well, I've always gotten... I've got to do some serious research because something's... Okay... One, okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, there is five. I forgot. Lip liner. Still, this, 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 I don't know. We're, 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 I'm going to try and see if I can figure out pricing and we'll try and swatch some of this stuff and let's, we'll get into that in the wrap up section. Right now, I'm just kind of, huh. I'm confused. <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys. I'll be right back with the wrap. So, let's wrap things up here. I, I, I did my research. 
was able to find some information easily and others I don't so much, but you know, I digress here. Now I'm not going to try these on today or this um, magnetic liner. I think I might just pass this on to somebody else who I know would really appreciate magnetic lashes more so than I, I've been steering away from lashes because of how it affects my eyes. Um, so yeah. I'm mean, just wearing mascara, a primer, and then the mascara on top, and that that's fine for me. <laughs> now, what I was able to find out is this is $9.99, the liner itself, the lashes. I couldn't find the price for it. Eye Beauty drives me insane with the lack of availability to figure out what they're selling and how much it costs. You know, they're selling a subscription box of their magnetic lashes. All of a sudden, you get four of these and a liner for like $13.99 a month or $18.99, something really low. So I, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. This they actually had in their shop that you could buy separately, but not the lashes. And they, I couldn't, I mean, I Googled. So we just don't know. <laughs> now the brushes, uh, Molly Jacob brushes, all eyes on me. This brush set sells for twenty four ninety. I mean, no, just twenty four dollars on our website. Um, it does not look like the brush that I got that has a little fork. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. I couldn't. It didn't look like it. So on her site. So I don't know. Maybe I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can get a replacement for this. That would be nice because I do. I really want to try the brushes. I want to. You know. I'm so picky about brushes. I threw away a bunch of crappy Morphe ones and some others that I was just like, what? But I like to try any brand brushes. Now, Bibella, Bibella lip liner. This sells for $2.99. And that's a great price for a lip pencil. I want to test this out. It writes on beautifully it's creamy and pigmented which this color is pretty good on me i i like it um so this is this is happy <laughs> this is something i'm gonna use i know for sure now the illuminati isa palette is 48 dollars I, I'm not going to swatch this because I think I want to, you know, I might sell this on my Mercari or give this away. I have other Illuminati palettes. The, I haven't been mad. Been, the, nope. And I saw so many beautiful looks of other um, influencers as I was <laughs> Googling this palette. And it looked beautiful. <laughs> But, um, yeah, but this is, it's a nice palette. It's got some nice colors. It's very colorful. It's got purples and blues and greens and yellows and neutral browns. And it's got a white and it's got a, like a black. So that's, I mean, it's a, it's a good size, you know, full on good palette here, but I'm not going to swatch it for y'all. I'm sorry. I usually do, but this time I just, I'm going to hold off. <laughs> If I found pictures of swatches, I will post those uh, in a corner. I will post them when I was talking about the palette. I will flash. So you've probably already seen them. Oh, my cat. I just let the cat out. Oh, I let the other cat out. All my kids are asleep still, so I have to take care of the cat. But I want to finish this video up. So shush. I'll be right with you, KB. I promise, okay? I'll let you out in a moment. But, <laughs> so, with the prices that I do know, without the cost of the actual lashes, this box is looking at $84.98. That's a good value. Do I feel like the Illuminati palette is worth $48? I would cut $10 off of it normally. I would say $38. Anywhere between $32 and $38, I would pay for it. 
even that's a little high, but I think that's a better deal. I mean, because it's with a collab with someone. So yeah, but 48 is just a little steep for this palette, I, I honestly will say. Um, but yeah, and so without the lash price, it's pretty much, I saved $65.99 on everything that I got here. This box is so much better than uh, the previous month. I just, I get annoyed with iBeauty products. The company's iBeauty, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Because we get, we get their stuff a lot, and some of it's good, but you can't get it separately. Usually, It's like, oh, you might get it now and then if you subscribe to their subscription box. Other subscription boxes putting their products in a subscription box, I, I don't, I don't, get. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, but I'm, I'm done. done. Oh, I got some at the door. I gotta go. Oh. A few moments later. Sorry, I forgot. My father-in-law was coming by to look at some branches that broke. The snow was so heavy. One of the trees up front branches went snap, 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 and it... Nah. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, this box is better than last month. Um, last month, I got a lot of, like, skincare products and didn't get the beauty makeup that you're supposed to get in the beauty box. And I got a piece of crap <laughs> in there. So, yeah, they did better this time. Um, I did double check and make sure that, yeah, this is the, this is the beauty box. Um, I just, you, you know... I don't like how Glow Attic is no longer posting prices online on the internet where of what's inside the beauty box itself. They don't tell you what your so the dollar amount you're supposed to get anymore on their site. And dropping, you know, not saying if you're getting full size items or not. Um uh, I I'm I don't like that. It seems like it's too vague so that they can just screw up. Sorry, I have such bad allergies and I got to use these drops that the eye doctor gave me also for my eyes. Ah. Anyway, um, I just don't, Glow Attic, what's going on, folks? Come on. Oh, well, that's about it. I, you know, there's really, is it stuff that I'm going to be using myself? Not a lot. I'm going to, you know, pass it on, but that's okay. I like being able to give to others when I can. <laughs> so anyway, if you stuck around to the end, thank you. I was going to do, um, unbox some add-on stuff in this video, but I'm tired. I haven't slept much in these last few days. Just been up with kids and I'm I'm ready to go back to sleep. And it's only 9.30 in the morning. But I've been up since 5. So <laughs> and I didn't get to bed until I don't know. I don't know when I if I did. The night before I didn't get to bed at all. So I I um hmm. Sorry. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I am was setting up everything to do a tarot reading. I was going to do Jeffrey Epstein since that was winning on my poll. But everything went wrong with the cameras, the stuff that I used to record the cards. I couldn't get it to work. It would just, I don't know. I am updating software right now on it. <laughs> I'm going to try this again. But I'm wondering if I shouldn't do Jeffrey Epstein because of so many things were going wrong and I couldn't find stuff. So... I, I, I'm trying to listen to myself, and I'm thinking I might just do Chris Watts, which is not even an option I had originally thought of, but it's one that gets, keeps coming to the forefront. So I'm thinking maybe I should listen to that, my intuition here, and put Epstein back for a while. <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. You know you want to hear more from me. Hit the notification bell so you know when I post up another video. I love you guys. Bye.